Who are you? I'm Batman. What's up, everyone? Thank you for jo Oh, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> wrong, wrong Batman voice. What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Batman. And today, we're going to be opening the 1989 Tim Burton's SH Figure Arts Batman. That's right, we're looking at Michael Keaton as Batman in the SH Figure Arts Batman line. I am pretty, pretty psyched about this one. This figure, to my surprise, sold out within two days at dstartoys.com. That's right, you can get awesome action figures at www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. But unfortunately, this one <laughs> sold out really fast, and to my surprise, I didn't even review this yet. My gosh, everyone has been waiting for this figure, it seems, as well as me. So we're going to open it up, we're going to look at paint detail, articulation, and scale and accessories and hopefully you guys can find this guy out there in the wild or you can probably get it at another website but let's open it up let's see how it is I am pretty psyched about this one 1989 we're gonna review it we're gonna see how pain detail articulation and scale we're gonna compare it with other action figures I also have surprise action figures we're gonna compare them to you guys are gonna really love this part by the way look at that super shiny cold backdrop right there and there we have it there is Michael Keaton Mr. Beetlejuice himself as Batman. And right now, I have to tell you, just by feeling this, the cape, whoo, the cape feels really nice. Really premium, really solid. Let's see how he is. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's look really close at these blue eyes of Michael Keaton. I have to say, this looks really solid. And just like the movie, we do not get an articulated neck joint right here unfortunately I th it looks like we get another head in here but we're gonna look at that later so right off the bat no you cannot move his head just like in the movie so they're trying to give you the most authentic 1989 Batman right there and yeah that's pretty much it but the face does look really good the lower part of his face is really solid I love the skin tone even his lips are shaded really well the eyes really well done the matte finish on the mask Really, really nice, giving you that authentic look. Uh, let's look here. Bat symbol. Bat symbol, sorry. Right in his chest, looking really well painted there with the yellow and black. Don't forget, you got the muscles of Michael Keaton right here. Wow, really nice. And uh, we don't get version 2 joints, but we do have ball joints, and it looks really solid nonetheless. So that looks really, really good. And he's just overall matte finished, with the exception of his boots are really glossy and metallic looking, but they're not metal at all. Let's not forget the gauntlets and the gloves. I honestly didn't think he had this on his gloves. Let's look here at the gloves right here. They're kind of like spotted silver. I didn't notice that in the movie. Maybe you guys do, but yeah, I totally didn't notice that. And last but not least, let's look at this cape, right? It looks like it's made out of leather. Whoa, let's zoom out here. Let us see. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at it. It just looks really nice, really thick. Also, look how thick that pleather is. That's something that I rarely see in a Batman um, action figure. In fact, any action figure with a cape nonetheless. Now, if you're wondering if this is wired, no, it's not. But what we have here is some stunt double-like effects going on here where he gets to hold on to this with the different hands that he has, so you can get the classic I'm flying in the air Michael Keaton Batman style, which made him popular for that, which made Batman popular when he's flying at you with his cape. That's what you get. Unfortunately, this is not wired. I don't know if a wire would have been a good idea to capture the 1989 Batman look. I actually really, really like this. So we're going to look closer at how he can get into that pose later when we hit accessories. So... Let's go into articulation and scale. This figure is genuinely impressing me. I can see why people were wanting it. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go into our articulation and scale. Okay, let's see how tall he's standing. So this guy, I have my measuring tape right here. He's standing a little bit above six inches from the very, very top right there of his bat ears. Of course, we have other action figures we're going to compare him to. 
my current favorite Batman figure right now. The Mezco Supreme Knight Batman. Whoo, he towers over him. Look at that, people. So, yeah, he's a little bit smaller, but also you have to remember, Mezcos are kind of uh, scaled a little bit bigger in the 112 scale. So, let's see here against Marvel Legends. We have Gambit right here. SH figure it's being scaled a little bit smaller. Here is... Akuma, SH figure out, so Akuma also is bigger. And uh, last but not least, here's another Marvel Legends Wolverine. Now, since we're in the 90s, let's see if we can compare him with other 90s action figures or late 80s. Here is a Metal Gear Solid McFarlane Toys um, Cyborg Ninja. A one-armed Temjin from Virtual <laughs> Oh yeah, we're bringing some 90s toys. Since I'm here at the house in the home studio, I get to take out all the classic toys. And uh, we have a Duke Nukem. Yeah, I'm Duke Nukem. My game took forever. And last but not least, oh not last but not least, we have one more. Here is a really, really old school Spider-Man by Toy Biz. Sure, why not? Last but not least, Sandman Toy Biz. Sure. We're, ta we're taking it back, people. We're taking it back. Let's look at articulation here. We have a toe joint right here. We should have a toe joint right there. And it looks to be really good. We have an up and down here at the ankle. Not much in terms of an ankle swivel, but we do have a double joint and knee right there. Looking really sharp. And like I said before, we have the ball joint here at the inner thigh. So we can get some really good solid kicks in there, as he should. Uh, ab crunch. So we have two joints here at the midsection. One up here, one down here. We can get a decent amount of, of rotation, not much, unfortunately. Most of the rotation is going to be at the upper part of the abdomen right there. So let's look right here. Don't forget, we also have the uh, butterfly joints right here at the shoulder so he can hug himself. I miss my parents. <sighs> and uh, we have somewhat of a swivel here at the bicep. It's actually part of the shoulder joint. We have a single joint here at the elbow. He's just really dark. I honestly can't see it in the camera. Uh, we have ball joint, ball and peg here at the wrist. And like I said, no neck articulation, which could, I could see why people would want that and not want that. We want Batman to look around, but like I said, in the movie, he doesn't really move around that his head around that much because of the fact that that costume was hindering Michael Keaton. So... I guess that's accurate to the movie, and therefore they translated it to the action figure here. Now let's look at accessories. Let's go to the top cam right here. Let's see what we're looking at. So we have, uh, looks to be some accessories right here. I'm going to whip out the manual so I know exactly how to fit everything. We have the uh, grappling hook. We have a batarang. We have the, uh, wait, is this the grappling hook? I forgot what this one does. He shoots it. It does It does a thing, and he goes across the room. Anyway, Batarang. Uh, we have shurikens right here. The actual shooting grappling hook, and it looks like we get another face right there, an assortment of hands. We're going to outfit him with everything we can. First off, let's look at this face, right? So this is the face that you get. And we're going to put it on him in just a minute. So let's see here. So this is him looking to the side, and this is the classic look that he has when he's about to use his grappling hook. And we're going to outfit him with that right now. So let's remove this. Ah! <laughs> I did not know that did that. Okay, give me a moment. Let me look at the manual here. That scared me. Give me one sec. This is an unboxing, people. Everyone, I love how people in the comments are like, how come you didn't know this? And I'm like, it's an unboxing. I have no idea what to expect. So I'm going to take out the manual here. Everyone, please give me a moment. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so now that I understand how this works, so you guys don't do what I just did right now, you have to remove the bat symbol first, right? This is how it works. Because he doesn't have a movable neck, it's not as easy as you think, okay? So you have to remove the bat symbol first, and then you could properly move the uh, the head off. And also, this is the neck or head peg right here, I believe. I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 
<laughs> let's uh let's figure this out. So yeah, you put this here, so that snaps on like that. Then you can take this off, and then the head. So you pull the you pull the symbol off. Okay, here we go. One more time. Let me tell you. Pull the symbol off. Then you can pull the head off. Then you can switch it out. So let's do this. All right, there you go. See, easy peasy. Making this harder than it seems. Come on, Dex. Don't don't do this to your fans. Don't do this to D fam. All right, and let's look real close here. And that's him looking to the side. It looks a little bit hokey, I have to say. Uh, then again, the 1989 uh, Batman movie was a little bit hokey to begin with, so you can't really uh, transfer that into making it look super, super cool and modern, but there you have it. That's him looking to the side right there. Uh, I'm going to outfit him. Oh, one more thing I forgot to say is that you can remove the bottom face part as I was looking in the manual. Uh, hold on one second. So we have to get in there. It's really tight. So I got my tool here. So you can remove the face, the bottom face part, and you can interchange the the mouth. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So there you have it. That's the mouth part. And then you could interchange it with this one, right? But we're going to keep it like this because that's how I like it. So there you have it. I just had to pull that out. Needed a little help with my tool here. All right, let's look at the rest of the accessories. A little accessorize them. Here's the remote control battering. Looking really solid right there. And don't forget the grappling hook. And of course we get shurikens. Oh, looks like we get two. Well, let's just look at one for now. He can sh he can throw these. And here is that the one where he uses where he uses it to fly across the room, which shoots hooks. And we will outfit that one right now. Okay, so here I have him outfitted with the hook, which is really cool because, like in the movie, remember he points this at Joker. Uh, actually, should I say spoiler alert? Come on, guys. If you haven't watched it by now, anyway, spoiler alert. He points it at Joker. He looks like he's about to shoot him, and it goes poof. And that's exactly what it does. It looks like we have some really nice joints on that grappling hook right there. Really, really solid. And uh, let's outfit him with the other grappling hook. Everyone give me one second on that one. All right, so well. here we are. We outfitted him with the other grappling hook. So now he can grapple all over the place and fly all over the place. And whatnot. So here, here's how it looks like. That looks really cool. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to get him in the proper pose. Everyone, please give me one minute on that one as well. All right. Last but not least, let's look here. So these handles can go on these hands, and you can get that. Woo, look at this. So with a gliding Batman look, and that looks really really cool. Uh, one thing I have to let you guys know before we go into the conclusion is that you can actually remove these as you can see so you can just have a regular cape right there which is really nice. I like the way they did that. So let's get them posed up. I <laughs> I just can't believe they did something like this. It looks really cool. You can totally get it in the into the proper pose like this. It just looks wow <sighs> like gliding Batman right there. Woo, love that. Let's stand him up and let's come up with the conclusion of the SH Figure Arts 1989 Batman. Um, so far, I really like this figure. If we can come up with a few negatives, here's the negatives that I have to come up with. I know he doesn't move his neck that much in the movie, but I would have loved something to move that neck, right? Right? I have some people in the comments will probably no, no, it has to be accurate. I know, I know it has to be accurate. I know he rarely moves his head because that cowl is just really thick and and stuff like that, and he hardly does it in the movie. But I would have, I wouldn't mind if they worked something out to make that movable. Um, the other negative I have, mm, nothing much. He's scaled a little bit smaller than I thought he would be, and I think that's it. The positives are really fantastic. I mean, look at this figure. We've always wanted something, or at least I've always wanted, a 1989 Batman that's done well, right? And, uh, yeah, I have to say, this one knocks it out of the park. The utility belt and everything like that looks really, really good. I love that you can pose him like this. He looks really accurate to the movie. 
And yeah, that's to say, he's well worth it if you can find him. That's another thing. I noticed that this guy is starting to sell out quickly because a lot of people like me really wanted a Tim Burton, Michael Keaton, Batman action figure. And we got one. Super premium. I believe he's going for $69.99. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you always know when I post new videos. Don't forget to visit www.dstartoys.com. Your live source for awesome action figures. And I know I rarely say this in any of my videos. If you guys want, go ahead and check out my link tree and visit my Patreon. That's right. Let's talk about my Patreon. I have a lot of awesome perks there especially the highest tier perk if you are on the highest tier perk i send you a random action figure every month how awesome is that i help you out you help me out anyway guys that's all i gotta say i'll see you guys next time So, rate, comment, and subscribe right here, right there, right here. Yeah.